Shalom. Shalom. Slucky. I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem. We're called Kadash. We're called Kadash being the Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings to uh, all you sincere brothers who are pushing this uh, truth and faith and sincerity throughout, their, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth. The house of David. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And uh, I want to go into a lesson. Uh, Touching on stubbornness, like yeah, by Shimon Shah, by Shimon Kokodash, Barak of Thumb. So, you sincere listeners who may tune into this, all right? It's the brother Yutazaka coming back at you with another listen through the spirit of prophecy, by Shimon Shah, by Shimon Kokodash, all praises and honor due, all right? And I want to go into another uh, lesson uh, entitled uh, uh, Stubbornness, you know, or um, Stubbornness is uh, highly wicked, you know, we, uh, we can't be stubborn, you know. And uh, matter of fact, I got stubborn pulled up on Google. Um, going to stubborn, stubborn. It says having or showing showing dog determination not to change one's attitude or position on something, especially in in spite of good arguments or reason reasons to do so. You know. So that's you know what what being stubborn is. You know what I'm saying like having a dog determination not to change your attitude or position on something especially in spite of good arguments or reasons to do so now we know we're supposed to be steadfast and firm um within this word and in this doctrine you know that's 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 um important you know that's uh what uh was spoken of in uh first timothy the fourth chapter about how we're supposed to um you know uh give attendance to reading doctrine matter of fact just since I'm quoting it, let me get that. First Timothy four. First Timothy four. And um, thirteen. This First Timothy chapter four and verse thirteen says, "Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine." So we're supposed to give uh, attendance. To uh, read into exhortation and doctrine, you know. Let's go jump down to 16. It says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So it's important that you know what I'm saying we uh we take heed unto the doctrine, you know what I'm saying, doctrine being uh teachings or or instructions, you know, or you know, instruction, you know. So how 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 things are taught and how uh, we instruct and how we're instructed to be conducting ourselves, you know, we we have to continually uh, give ourselves uh, to these things, you know, because it, because in in doing these in doing this we should both save ourselves and them that hear us, you know. So doctrine is very important, you know. So we are. Uh, uh, Stubborn in 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 a in a, in a, in a, in a sense of uh, of the doctrine, like we're not gonna uh, step outside of the doctrine um, that 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 we have learned, you know, to uh, to go astray and go into another doctrine. Now we're gonna be as 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 though those uh, as 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 those in uh, in uh, Thessalonica. Matter of fact, let's get there real quick too, just to make another point. Because uh, let me just pull it out first. It's, uh, Acts 17. Acts 17. 11. Yep. This Acts chapter 17 and verse 11 says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, Salakia. It's talking about the church of Berea. It says, These were more noble than uh, those in, uh, in, in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind in church. And, and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so you know so that we're supposed to do that as well you know what i'm saying like um we we continue in the things that thou has learned you know but we also search the scriptures daily to uh make sure you know uh the things that we have learned uh, are in the scripts you know that's the thing that we do as well you know um uh we we make sure that you know uh the doctrine is solid and concrete by um continually um 
searching the scriptures uh, daily, you know, for uh, our Lord Yahusha Mashiach told us to do that as well, because he says for 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 in them they shall have uh, eternal life, you know. So we're supposed to search the scriptures, you know. We're supposed to uh, make sure we're being steadfast within the doctrine. Now, when if if, if something is uh, within the doctrine that you know something is 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 it was is within the word but it's not necessarily pushed on the forefront you know what i'm saying but it, it it's still a part of the doctrine you 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 can still uh use that as as wisdom to better your conduct you know like uh like uh for example um it may not be spoken of that you know um you, you should be uh, living at peace among men, so to speak, as uh, amongst all men. Um, that, that might not be pushed on the forefront as a part of a doctrine that we've been taught and instructed in, but that's how we are to carry ourselves because that's this that's, uh, that's, that's doctrine, you know, that's, that's, that's wisdom, you know, that, that, and that is a part of the doctrine that we were taught, you know, or that we you know we're, we're we're supposed to know that we're supposed to be under you know because it's one doctrine at the end of the day this and it came from our lord you know and that's the that's the doctrine that we're supposed to uh be under you know so in, in, in that sense you know someone may see say okay you need to uh be peaceful among all men now that may not be on the forefront uh like that so when a brother tell you like look you need to be peaceful amongst all men you know and then they give you uh valid reasons on why we should be peaceful amongst all men and then uh you know you you want to fly off the radar about uh well you know this 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 you know well this says that we shouldn't be peaceful among all men or we wasn't taught that we need to be peaceful among all men we were just taught to push this word you know well that's a part of the word you know what i'm saying so like you you can't that's that's being stubborn man you know because if someone brings you something that's within the scriptures within the word because our lord yahweh mashiach is the word which we're supposed to be followers of our lord yahweh mashiach if someone brings out the word you know which is the wisdom of our lord yahweh mashiach the doctrine of our Lord, you know, you're supposed to take heed unto that, man. You know, you're supposed to take heed unto that. Now, of course, we know no scriptures of any private interpretation, you know, but, you know, if, if we have the wisdom that's from above, we're supposed to know how to move. You know, matter of fact, let me get this in Wisdom of Solomon real quick. Because I'm making a few points. Just want to back up some of the stuff I'm saying. Um, this Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, in verse... 22 it says for wisdom which is the worker of all things taught me for in her is an understanding spirit holy one only manifold subtle so 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 the wisdom of solomon which is the wisdom of our lord yahweh mashiach because king solomon was um uh, our lord yahweh mashiach in the reincarnation, our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach was King Solomon, you know. So it says, For in her is an understanding spirit, holy, one, manifold, subtle. So it teaches you how to be subtle, you know. It teaches you the, the wisdom that's of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach has subtility in it. I can tell you about that in Proverbs, the first chapter, that the Proverbs of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of, of Solomon was uh given for uh discretion and subtility subtility you know so we're supposed to be sub subtle you know it says lively clear clear plain undefiled or plain you know not subject to hurt so wisdom is not subject unto hurt you know no no wisdom that's within these scriptures is subject to hurt us I'll tell you then in first timothy the third chapter about how all scripture was given for uh, insp by by inspiration of Yahweh Shimal Shai, and it's profitable for doctrine, reproof, 
correction and instruction in righteousness. So all scripture is, is, is given for instruction in righteousness. It is not subject to hurt you. It's really subject to uh, better you, you know. It says loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it ready to do good. So the wisdom that's within these scripts, it, it, it teaches us how to do good works in all aspects, you know, being holy conversation in all things. It says kind to man, steadfast, steadfast, sure. So the, the, the wisdom that's within these scripts, the, the word is sure. You know, it's, it's, it's no holes within that. You know, this is this is for certain. If we if if we operate by the scriptures, it's 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 it's, it's, it's no um it's no fall fall in that. If we operate uh, wholly within the scriptures and within the doctrine, there's no uh it's it's nothing that can uh, be imputed unto that. You know, or it's, or it's nothing that can uh you know happen if against that that that's for certain that's for certain that's that, that's going to be for for certain results you know it says kind to man steadfast sure free from care see free from care you know the the, the wisdom of this word this doctrine is free from care you know having all power overseeing all things and going through all understanding pure and most subtle subtle spirits you see so it's it's, it's 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 pure, and it's it and uh it oversee it oversees all things, man. You know, so anything that you need to know or anything that you know can be spoken on can be uh validated by the scriptures. You know, and that's how we're supposed to uh move and operate when it comes to anything. When it comes to anything, all our movements, man. You know how we talk, how we think, what we say, what we do. You know what I'm saying? How we move. You know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be filtered through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, which is the word. You know? It's not. Let me, uh, let me go back. So let's go back to this word stubborn. You know, because I made a couple points. So it says, having or showing dog determination not to change one's attitude or position on something, especially in spite of good arguments or reasons to do so. And the good arguments and reasons to do so is supposed to be these scripts, you know, like if a, if a script say that we are not supposed to move a certain type of way or you shouldn't do this or you should think before you do this or you shouldn't say this in this type of season or, you know, a wise man will hold his tongue. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, it says that we, we, we us as, as wise men, we shouldn't do these certain type of things. We we have to apply that, man. <laughs> we have to apply that. That's, 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 the, that, that's, because why? Wisdom teaches us uh, subtlety and it oversees all things, man. Now, if you refuse to change your attitude on what you're doing, regardless, you know, uh, uh, e even if, you know, scriptures, uh, give you reasoning on why you should, you know, change your position or, you know, your actions on certain things, you know, and you, and you still want to, uh, operate with, within that, that's, that's being stubborn, man. That's being stubborn, man. You know, you can't throw aside scripts. You can't, you can't throw aside scripts out here. You know what I'm saying? Then be like, well, no, nah, that don't apply. Or, you know what I'm saying? to whom that may apply or we we're not that not 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 in not in this not in this case right here man man all, all scripture is given for instruction and righteousness man all scripture is is given for reproof man you know a correction so we have to take heed to, to strong's to g 1391 doxa oh someone on the table we got to put everything on the table man and that's why it's even more uh, more reason and a sense of for us to sit back before we make any kind of moves out here before we say anything because we got to make sure you know these things are, uh, are correct the things that we're doing you know which the scriptures give us uh insight on uh what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing you know when you go down um some of the synonyms is obstinate, uh, mullish, headstrong, 
willful, self-willed, man. You know, and that's being presumptuous. Which being presumptuous is wicked, man. That's uh, the nature of a brute beast, you know. It says uh, difficult, being difficult, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's always got to be something else. You know what I'm saying? Or perverse. That's being perverse, man. Which, you know, perverse is upside down, man. Backwards, man. You know what I'm saying? Which we don't, we don't want to be going away backwards. Speak about how the wicked of our people, Israel, have gone away backward. You know, they're 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 perverse. You know, we're not supposed to be perverse in our spirits or in our minds. And that's what that's that's what being stubborn is. You know, it says uh, adamant. It, you should, the heavenly Father said he made uh, the house of Israel's uh, forehead is an adamant stone. You know what I'm saying? But you're supposed to have uh, uh, be working towards those heart uh, of flesh, man. We, we we supposed to be putting away that stony heart, man. You know, which a part of that stony heart is walking after our own imagination and being stubborn, man. You know, it says inflexible. Inflexible is nothing you can say to, you know, flex your position on something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like anything. If, if it's not what you know or you know or or what you've learned in how how you was taught to move even if scriptures say you should move different you still want to operate in that you know what i'm saying that's that's being uh that's that, that that's that's being uh adamant man you know that's being uh inflexible you know like it's <laughs> we supposed to be flexible man of course we're supposed to be steadfast but we also got to be flexible man we got to be versatile, man. You know, which Lord will, I'm going to do a lesson on that as well. Like how we got to we we, we got to be one thing and another thing, you know. We got to be steadfast, but we got to be uh, willing to hear. We got to be swift to hear, but we got to be we got to reject BS. You know what I'm saying? We got to we got to be balanced in, in, in all in all in everything, man. In all things, you know, it says uncompromising uncooperative unyielding unbending stiff neck <laughs> and that's our people man stiff neck people man you know re 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 refusing re refusing to uh change their stance or positions on things even though you know it's it's it's, it's hella good reason why our, you know the vast majority of our people or you know it's hella reason why our people should turn unto the heavenly father and his only begotten son man because, you know, obviously, you know, they're pissed off and they're finna destroy this place. So, you know, it's 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 uh more than enough uh reason and incentive for our people to turn away from their wickedness and um and serve you by Shemal Shah, but they refuse to do it. That's the that's that's the uh, the vast majority of our people refuse to do it. That's that that's that stiff neck nature, man. That's that stubbornness, you know. Um going down it says difficult to move remove or cure so <laughs> incurable you know scriptures speak about how you know our people uh in jeremiah the 30th chapter 30th chapter their wound is incurable you know nahum the third chapter speaks about how that wound is grievous you know which really that was going into babylon you know but you can apply that to our people as well that that wound is is grievous grievous man you know it says uh permanent <laughs> you know what i'm saying so like yes yeah, it's, it's, it's just un unchangeable man self will like i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna do what i think is right regardless of who the, who 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 telling me you know uh i shouldn't be uh doing it you know which you know it tell you it, it's there's a uh um multitude so like let's just get it I think it's Proverbs 11 to 14, if I'm not mistaken. It's a lot. Um, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. It says, where no counsel is, the people fall. It says, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. You know, so there's a, there's a, in, in, in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. If there's a, a, a multitude of men that can agree on something. You know, and within counsel, you know, there's safety in it. Now, of course, we don't follow a multitude to do evil either. 
you know, so that's where you got to have that balance. Eh? But you can't be so stubborn to the point where you got a multitude of counselors telling you the same thing or giving you different diverse reasonings within scriptures on why you should change your stance and your position, but you still don't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, then you're operating without counsel, man. And it says, let counsel go before every enterprise and every action, man. Before we do things out here, we got to we got to take a uh, strenuous counsel, which that's a part of the scriptures, too. You know, it says where where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So where there is no counsel, people going to fall off, man. You know, which we're, we're trying not to fall down. You know, we're trying not to fall down. We need counsel, you know, which, you know, it's uh. It speaks about how uh, I believe it's in Matthew the 18th chapter about our Lord Yahweh Mashiach said, "When two or three are gathered in my name, um, I'm in the midst thereof." You know, which you know, our Lord Yahweh Mashiach is the Word, man. So if if, if men are gathering uh, with uh, with, with uh, in, in 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 the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh giving counsel, because that was really talking speaking on giving counsel, you know. In Matthew the 18th chapter, then you know that's that's directly coming from Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, that's directly coming from Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which again, once again, our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach is the word, you know. So, you know, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach has a body, you know, here on this earth, you know, so they represent sent the uh, multitude of counselors wherein there is safety, you know. So you you have to take heed unto that, you know. Let's go back to Sirach 36, you know. I mean, Sirach 3 and 26. We we, we have to take heed unto that. We got to make sure we're not being stubborn, you know. This uh, Sirach chapter 3 and verse 26, it says, A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that love of danger shall perish therein. Yes, yeah, it says a stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, man. You know, you, you want to be stiff-necked. Stiff you know what I'm saying? You want to be uh, adamant about things. You want to be, uh, you know, intense. Uh, you know, you 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 want to uh, refuse to change your position uh, or or stance on on things. Well, in the end, you're gonna end up uh, fearing evil. You know why? Because in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. You know, but you know where there is no counsel, you're gonna fall. We we know we fall. <laughs> We know what we're falling into pertaining to uh second Ezra's the seventh chapter, you know, about how, you know, uh the kingdom of heaven, the entrance into the kingdom of heaven is like uh trying to, you know, walk walking a tightrope with fire on one side and water on the other side. You know, so that's that evil that's gonna be at the last. And you know, it say that he that love of danger shall perish therein, which if you you know you wanna play around on a tightrope, you know, you wanna spin around, do juke moves, you know what I'm saying, do tricks and you know what I'm saying? Tricks and backflips on the tightrope, man. You know, you 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 gonna end up falling fall, falling uh to the wayside, man. You know, it says an obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows. And obstinate is pretty much synonymous with stubbornness as well. You know, so a stubborn mind, an obstinate mind, shall be laden with sorrows. Shall be laden with sorrows. And the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin, you know, which is iniquity, man. You know, so being stubborn is 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 is, is, is how you can uh, 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 continue to add transgression unto transgression, which we are supposed to offend less, man. fact, let's get that real quick. That's why we that's why we can't be stubborn too. That's why we got to take heed unto uh, the scripts uh, ve vehemently, you know, and quickly, you know what I'm saying. So. Uh, ultimately, ultimately, Lord willing, we don't, uh, we don't, uh, we, we, we don't end up being laden with those sorrows, or we don't end up, you know, heaping sin upon sin. So like it, uh, what is it? I know it's somewhere in that area. It's a lot. 17, it's a lot. Yep. This, uh, Sirach chapter 17 and verse 25, it says, return unto the Lord, Yahabah Shemal Shah. Forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. Yeah, we're supposed to offend uh, less, you know. We're supposed to offend less. So, you know, that's why it's key that we take heed to things quickly 
and uh, be willing to change our stance and positions on on on, on things uh if if if, if doctrine uh if, if if the word gives us uh insight and reason on why we should you know because we're trying to offend less and we want to forsake our sins we don't want to heap more sins upon more sins you know well let's read 26 it says turn again to the most high and turn away from iniquity for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou abomination vehemently you know and all uh, sin is abomination unto the heavenly father transgression you know uh, offenses though those are uh those are abominations unto the heavenly father and the heavenly father hates abominations you know which a part uh, 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 another abomination another sin is uh stubbornness you know which stubbornness leads to you uh leads to iniquity you know matter of fact let's let's get this since i said that let's go right here that's the perfect segue for the next scripture um this first samuel chapter 15 verse 23 it says for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft which if you're being stiff neck which is synonymous with being stubborn that's that's being rebellious which that's that's actually witchcraft you know which thou shalt not suffer a witch to live that's a high level offense you know sorcery you know witchcraft you know it says and stubbornness is as iniquity yes stubbornness is as iniquity you know that's how you heap sin on top of sin having an obstinate heart you know that that brings forth iniquity you know you heap sin upon sin it says an idolatry and idolatry is real which that's that's one of the first commandments we won't we won't supposed to have no gods before the heavenly father man really i believe that's the first commandment which if 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 if, if you 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 want to have an obstinate heart and just be centered on one thing you know or just centered on uh uh what you believe is right even if if, if it's according to scriptures but if you got other scriptures saying that you might be right but you should still move like this that's 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 idolatry still man because you're you're centering on what you want to center on we can't center on what we want to center on we gotta eat the whole road we gotta move according to the whole scripture and that's that's how we and, and that's how we tread lightly out of out here and that's how we uh avoid stubbornness and idolatry you know, that's why it's, we got to be real careful to whom much is given, much is required. We're required to make sure we're we we, we saying the right things. We doing the right things because we're not trying to heap sin on top of sin. We're not trying to commit idolatry. We're not trying to be wicked out here. You know what I'm saying? So we we got to We got to be we got to be like that, man. We have to be uh, willing to compromise, man. We have to be co cooperative, co co cooperative. So like if I'm saying that right. We can't be adamant, you know. Yes, we're steadfast and abounding always in the works of the heavenly Father and His, and, and his only begotten Son. But we're, bro, we 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 have to be able to, uh, at the drop of a dime, be able to uh, uh make sure uh take hear hear counsel and take that in and, and uh evaluate it and uh use it too as well, you know. It says. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. He also he have also rejected thee from being king. You know, so we can't we we, we can't be committing we can't be out here being stubborn, you know, because that's 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 iniquity. That's that's sin on top of sin and and uh it's idolatry man that's idolatry man you know so those are two high level offenses you know just just from being stubborn just because you you refuse to change your stance or position on something man you know even when you got good reason to do something a good argument on why you shouldn't be doing something which the only good argument and reasoning why you shouldn't be doing something or why you should change your stance or position on something is the scripts you know it's the scripts you know, this is how we gauge if what we're doing is right or not. And stubbornness and no is no way that you can make stubbornness righteous righteousness. Now, but that's but that's a thin line because it's a thin line between stubbornness and being steadfast. 
you know it's a, it's a thin line between being stubborn stiff neck and uh st standing for righteousness you know what i'm saying like you, you we we have to have a, a strong level of balance you know and that's why it's, we, we got to be real careful because we got we got to lay everything on balance beams out here you know what i'm saying we have to lay everything on balance beams out here because we can be like okay we standing up for righteousness you know which we're supposed to do we're, we're set for the defense of the gospel you know but it, but it, but at the same time you could go overboard you know which you know you you we, we could never go far enough with, with the, within our righteous acts that's not what i'm saying but you could go overboard and, and doing too much man you know what i'm saying like you you could be uh you could be you could just be uh unyielding you know what i'm saying or unbending which that's 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 unrighteousness as well because you could be standing up for righteousness but you're not uh taking heed to counsel you're not uh letting uh counsel go before every action and enterprise you know or you're uh you know you're uh despising uh br brother's words you're looking at their words as insignificant when they're supposed to be representatives of your house shot my shot when it says it's the much as as you have done it to the least of them you have done it to me so it's like it's it's just like we got to be real careful you know what i'm saying because it's easy to do something out here we don't want to bring forth more more offenses you know we don't want to bring forth more offenses you know so you know the the best thing for us to do is stay away from stubbornness you know because that brings forth iniquity in our idolatry you know that we stand up for righteousness but you know we still uh be willing to hear and we're not ignorant of anything small or big and we you know uh well we, we we deliberate you know we use discretion you know we deliberate and we use discretion you know uh, consistently you know this uh Sirach chapter 30 verse 8 it says in horse not broken become of headstrong and a child left to himself will be willful you know says a horse a horse uh not broken become of headstrong man <laughs> you know what i'm saying so we need to be broken sometimes man you know because we don't want to be become headstrong you know we need to uh have, be stirred up you know what i'm saying sometimes so we don't become headstrong because if, if if you're not never being broken if you're not never being shut down you know what i'm saying if if uh you you, you ain't never being stiff arm on some of the stuff you're doing you're gonna become stubborn you know it says and a child left to himself will be willful and a child left to himself will be willful which we're supposed to be as little children man you know so we're, we're not supposed to be left to ourselves we're supposed to be uh left unto the uh will of yahweh by shem yahweh shot man you know we don't want to be willful man you know being presumptuous you know it's gonna get us knocked the hell off man you know let's, let's go to titus this 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 titus chapter one verse seven it says for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of yahweh by shem yahweh shot not self-willed not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, you know. But we we supposed to be uh uh we're supposed to be uh not self willed, man. You know, which being self willed is being stubborn. We are supposed to be soon getting angry off the muscle. You know what I'm saying? We are supposed to be no strikers. We are supposed to be given to filthy lucre, you know, base game. You know, being being right in uh, a argument or you know uh, you know appeasing appeasing our own self will. It says, but a lover of hospitality. So we're supposed to love hospitality. A lover of good men, sober, just, holy, and temperate. You know, so we're supposed to be a lover of good men. You know, and you know there is no no good <laughs> but one. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and who is that one? That's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which, you know, through through uh through him, his only begotten son, Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he was the uh the only good, you know, 
cause he, cause he, cause he came down in the, uh, in the, uh, in the image of the heavenly father, man, in the express image of our, uh, of the heavenly father. And we're supposed to be, uh, the representatives, the stewards of you, how my shot, you know? So, you know, those who, um, who are supposed to be stewards and representatives of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we're supposed to love them and take heed unto them. It says in sober, we're supposed to be clear, you know, which clear minded, you know, which that's the wisdom that comes from above. You know, it's clear, it's plain, and it's undefiled. You know, so we're supposed to uh be able to take heed to that quick, you know. It says just holy and temperate. Yeah, we're supposed to be temperate, which if, if 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 you're not you're not being temperate if you're being stubborn man you know that's not exercising self self-restraint and self-constraint you know what i'm saying you, you have to restrain yourself from just rocking with something all the time you know to not be stubborn you know let's go to second peter 2 and 10 this uh second peter chapter 2 verse 10 it says but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government presumptuous are they self-willed they are not afraid to speak evil of dick dignity so them who you know walk after the uh the flesh you know in the lust of uncleanness you know they despise government and they're presumptuous you know which makes them stubborn it makes them makes them ob obstinate you know, it says they are not afraid, afraid to speak evil of dignities. And what's those dignities? Matter of fact, let's get that word dignities here in the blue letter. Let's get the word dignities. Dignities. Mm. It says opinion, which judgment or view, you know, so they're not afraid to speak evil of a, a, a man of Yahweh Hamashiach's opinion or judgment or view, you know, it says opinion, estimate, whether good or bad concerning someone. Whoo. It says so they 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 they're not ashamed to speak <laughs> evil, evil of like, you know, your your view or your opinion on something, man. You know, that's what a self-willed, presumptuous person would do. A stubborn, a stubborn person would do. You know, it says, uh, oh, it says that the here go one right here. A thing, oh, there it go right there. A thing belonging to Hamashiach, someone who uh is a representative of Yahweh Hamashiach. It says the absolutely perfect inward or personal excellency of a Mashiach, the majesty. <laughs> wow. The, 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 the absolutely perfect inward or personal excellency of a Mashiach, the, the majesty, you know, which those are supposed to uh, be the representatives of your house, Mashiach, you know. Uh, kind of, yeah yeah so you know a thing belonging to Yahweh Shai Mashiach or you know magnificence excellence or grace you know splendor or you know uh, 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 a man of Yahweh Shai Mashiach's opinion judgment or view you know um, let's read it again it says uh, it's this Second Peter chapter 2 verse 10 it says like you know. it says but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government presumptuous are they like you know. presumptuous are they self will they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord you know so the, the the angels don't even uh despise with uh the angels who are greater in power and might they don't even despise things that brothers say so quickly 
You know, they don't bring just railing accusation against them before the Lord. You have a shot in my shot. You know, just like, oh, these, 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 these guys are, are, are off. These guys are, you know, what he what he's saying is completely adverse to you, Lord. You know, when our Lord is is representative of the word completely, man. You know what I'm saying? He is the word. So, you know, and even within that, you know, the angels, the angels don't uh just uh rail like that. You know, we can't be railing. Matter of fact, let's get I think it's gonna be tied together. Let's see, okay, railing. And speaking evil. Blasphemo speaking evil, slanderous, reproachful, abuseful against men. <laughs> against men, man. So that's that's speaking evil, slanderous, reproachful, or abusive uh, of men is railing, you know. And the angels don't do that, you know. The angels don't do that, you know. It says, but these as natural brute, brute beasts, and these, that's that's those who are stubborn. You know, if you, if, that's just like a, a cause a beast, like a, if you telling the beast, I'm finna kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you really finna destroy a beast, but a, a beast, they, they like, they not hearing that. They hungry, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't finna drive a beast away by reasoning with it or giving it a good argument on reason why it should turn away. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, look, if you come this way, you finna run into a trap. You're like, man, I don't care about that damn trap. I'm trying to catch my prey. You know, that's how a beast would move. You know what I'm saying? They they, they stubborn, you know, presumptuous, self-willed. It says, but these is natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Because <laughs> beasts are made to be taken and destroyed. You know what I'm saying? It says, speak evil of the the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Yeah, because that's corrupt, man. You know? It says, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to riot in daytime. Spots they are in blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. <sighs> you know? So, those, those your spots and blemishes in the feast of charity, man. You know, those who are stubborn and those who refuse to adhere, you know, those who are obstinate, you know, you know, stiff neck, you know, sporting themselves with their own deceivings, you know, think, thinking that it's, 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 it's all good what you're doing or how you moving or it's OK. You know, it says having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Why? Because if you if you're being stubborn, you just heaping sin on top of sin. Beguiling unget unstable souls in the heart they have exercised with covetous practice practices, cursed children. You know, cursed children, you know, which have forsaken the right way and have gone or, and are going astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Baz Bazor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Yeah, that, that's idolatry, man. You know. Iniqu stubbornness is, is 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 iniquity and idolatry you know let's go let's go to numbers numbers 15 and 30 this number chapter 15 verse 30 says but the soul that doeth all presumptuously whether he be born in the land or a stranger the same reproach of the lord yahabashim yahushai and that soul should be cut off from among his people yeah so the soul that do it presumptuously you know the soul that's being self-willed you know the, the 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 soul that's uh being being obstinate you know that's being adamant you know whether he be born in the land or stranger the same reproach of the lord you're approaching the lord man not only uh are, are, are you approaching uh, those who are made in the image of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but you're approaching Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and, you're, and you're going to be cut off from the people, man. You know, but if you cut off among, from amongst the people, you know, you're not you're not going to receive salvation, you know. Um, I got a couple more. Lord, whether or not, you know, this was edifying, I put it together. 
best as possible, brothers. Um, this uh, Sirach chapter 32, verse 17. It says, A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his, his will. Yeah, it says a sinful man will not be reproved, man. He will not be corrected. Which is say all scripture was given uh, by inspiration of Yahweh by Shema Shai and is profitable for reproof, you know. But a sinful man, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna be reproved by script, you know. It says, but an, uh, but find a excuse according to his own will. That's that stubbornness, man. That's that stubbornness, you know. That's being, that's that self-willed nature. That's that presumptuousness, you know. It says, a man of counsel will be considerate but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear even when of himself he have done without counsel yeah it says a a, a a man of counsel will be considerate but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear even when of himself he have done without counsel even when he does something without counsel you know what i'm saying he's still not daunted with fear he just you know because he's not a he, he's not a man he, he, he he's a proud man he, he and he's a strange man you know, and, and, and he, he he he's not done it with fear. Why? Because he's stubborn. You know, he always feel like he's right. You know, it says, "Do nothing without advice, and when thou has once done, repent, repent not." Yeah. You so it say, "Do nothing uh, without advice, and when thou has once done, repent not." You know, so you got to make sure you do the right thing. <laughs> You got to make sure you're doing the right thing. You know, that's why I say do nothing without advice. You know, that's how you make sure you're doing the right thing. You know, it says go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall and stumble not among the stones. Yeah, don't go in a way where you could possibly fall at, man. This, this is scriptures. We, we don't supposed to do that. If it's a way that we could possibly fall down, don't go in that way. You know what I'm saying? It's It's... It's best. It's always best to. Uh, it's always best to do the thing that, uh, like, if it's a question on if we should do something or not, or if it's a, a question if this the right thing or it's the wrong thing. If you question it, just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't do it. Period. You know what I'm saying? Unless you done took uh, strenuous advice and counsel. You know what I'm saying? And matched it up with with with, with the whole book with the whole role. It says. Be not confident in a plain way. You're yeah, not supposed to be confident in a plain way. You know? Being simple. You know?